Hello guys, in this video you will see the first free lesson from my upcoming new course about queues in Laravel. I wanted to publish this for free so you would understand just the basic concepts. What is a queue? What is a job? How to send an email in a queue with database driver for example? And if you want full course, I will announce when it's actually released here on this channel. So subscribe to the channel and follow the news or you can go to laraveldaily.teachable.com and subscribe for a yearly membership where you get all current 19 courses and the Q course, which is coming in probably July, realistically, or end of June at best case scenario. But you can, as I say, subscribe to yearly membership and get current courses, Q course, and everything I will release in 2021. Now, hear me talking about Q basics. What is Q? Why do you need that? And how to use it? Let's go. Welcome to the course. And we begin talking about Laravel queues from classical simple example, sending an email. Why would you need queues? Because sending the email takes time. And if, for example, after registration, you need to send emails to administrators, this would fire several email notifications, and that would take around five seconds. And five seconds is too long to wait for the user. So imagine the scenario. This is a typical Laravel Breeze project, and in the registration form, in the store method, after creating the user, we have these two lines. So we get all the administrator users, and then send the notifications to them. Pretty typical scenario. Registered user notification is just a Laravel notification class, where we pass the user and inform the administrators about new user that has been registered. So if we don't use any queues, it will wait for emails to be sent for five seconds or so, and only then redirect user to their dashboard. Let's take a look. If we fill that form, I use fake filler Chrome extension, and we register, I won't pause this video, just calculate the time, how much it will take. I click, one, two, three, four, five. Around five seconds. Because of what? Because we need to send three emails. I'm using MailTrap service to catch those emails. So to send these three emails to notify the admins, it takes five seconds. Wouldn't it be cool that email would be sent somewhere separately in the background while the user would be redirected immediately? So that's why we need queues. Queue mechanism is the system that takes all the jobs into a queue, like in a shop, people standing in the queue, it would be the same in Laravel system, jobs standing in the queue. So sending an email with notification could be considered a job. Where that queue is depends on the driver that you use. There are a few drivers that Laravel supports, and we will start our example with simple database driver. So all the jobs will become table rows in our database, and then we'll process them one by one. In the queue's official documentation, there's a section about drivers, and database driver requires these two commands. So we will launch them. Queue table, it would create the migration for queues table. So we launch that one, migration created successfully, and then we will run PHP artisan migrate. And let's take a look at the database. Here's our database where we have a table called jobs. For now, it's empty, but now let's fill it in with the job of those email sending. So we will change this one from sync, from immediate launch to the queue. All we need to do here is change the notification class. So Laravel has a feature to add some classes into the queue really easily, like email notifications. You can already see that there's a shoot queue added by default when I create the notification class with artisan command, PHP artisan make notification, and also use queuable here. So all we need to do to enable that to be put into queue is implement shoot queue. That's it. So nothing more to change in the class itself. Now we need to enable the driver of database. And for that, we go to config queue file. And here we have default queue connection and by default it is sync, which means no queue. And then there are several connections available, database, Beanstalk, and SQS and Redis. And we will talk about those later in the course, but for now let's enable the database. And to enable that, we could change that here 
or in .env file, I just copy here and in .env, I will add a new variable Q connection equals database. Or as I said, you could change it here, for example. And now let's try to register. I use fake filler again, click register and see it is redirected immediately without any delay. And now let's take a look at our database table. Database table jobs, it was empty, I refresh. And here we have three jobs, one for each email sending. We will talk about what's inside of the job later in the course. For now, you can just take a look on the right hand side. You can see all the value. It's quite a big structure called payload with all the details about that job that it should process registered users notification class and more parameters here. Also, there are parameters for timestamps where the job is available or created or reserved or how many attempts it will be and now how to process that job. From the server, you need to have so-called workers. So there are basically three concepts, trinity of concepts that you need to know about queues. There's a job that goes into queue, which is processed by worker. So three things, job, queue, and worker. So for now, we created a job in the form of Laravel notification. We have put that into queue when we did shoot queue. And now we need to start a worker which should process that job. Or in fact, it would process all the jobs that are in the database table at the moment. To do that, from the terminal, we launch PHP artisan queue work. We launch that. And as you can see, processing processed, processing processed. So start and finished. And now if we refresh our table, refresh, it's empty again. So all the jobs are processed. And if we look at our mail tramp, we have three new emails. That was from another testing in the background. So three new emails, and this is how we processed the queue. And that queue work would work in the background for unlimited amount of time until we suspend that from terminal or just restart the server or whatever. It would be listening for jobs to appear, more and more jobs, and it would be processed by queue worker. And there will be a separate section and a few lessons around configuring the workers because that's also the core concept of queues. You need to have enough workers if you have enough jobs, especially for bigger systems to process that quicker. But in this example, you basically saw everything around queues, the core concepts. Again, job, queue and worker. And finally, in this lesson, I will mention two more benefits of using queues. One benefit is that you can scale it on a separate server. So you can launch the jobs on totally separate queue server or even a few servers. So scale it totally separately without loading your main server, main application server. And also queue mechanism is really good for retrying the jobs. So what if that email notification sending is failing for external service failure or network connection or some parameter missing or just 500 error in your application, whatever. It is really easy to configure the amount of retries or retries until some certain period or process the failures. And I will show all of that later in the course. But basically, queue mechanism, the whole system is really convenient to process separate background jobs while your main application takes care of the web interface and the main functionality. In the next lessons, we will take a look at a few more examples.